Well, I hope you enjoyed that start to finish process. I wanted to create kind of obviously a home decor piece that could be enjoyed every day. I wanted it to kind of be rustic and kind of country looking, but I also wanted it to more kind of go into a project to go into kind of the fall season that we are into. Um, I started with this board and the handles of course were on the other side. You saw me take them off. I had purchased it at Walmart like a year ago. Loved it. Of course originally intention was to create on top, but when I was um, thinking of this project I wanted it more like a shadow box effect and when I came across this I'm like well I can take the handles and flip it over and so that's what I did but I didn't want to not use the handles because I love that look I still wanted it to kind of look like a tray so I did that all the papers and tags that I used I sewed around the edges distressed around the edges uh, with my Prima Distress tool. I get a lot of questions on this Prima Distress tool. Unfortunately, Prima doesn't sell this anymore, but if you do a search, just Prima Marketing Distress Tool, you can probably find some online shops or maybe eBay or something that sells these. I love it. It's very ergonomic. It's got some different areas that you can use for all of your distressing. Uh, this little top comes off and it's got, you know, you can clean it out. Uh, you know when you're sanding with this little piece here stuff like that and it also which I don't use much this little end comes off and it's got a little distressor on that end as well okay so if you just do a search for that you could probably find it um, anyway so I laid those papers down the the board that I laid in the middle uh, I showed that to you because I have a set of two of them and I wanted to show you because it had this handle on it and I you know I had taken that handle off and then I was able to just this comes off real easy I was just able to pull that off these were found at Goodwill for 99 cents you know great for an open canvas of course to use on a project or standalone by itself for a project um, and then I laid down one of the first uh, Renee Bouquet beautiful board pieces was this chain link frame. They come in a set of three and they it's like a small, a medium, and a large piece in the set. Um, there's also a chunky chain link set that you can get and those come in a set of two but I like this kind of smaller chain link frame. I inked all the pieces of the beautiful board and my tags. You saw me at one point I was inking with this uh, Prima chalk ink. I like to use chalk ink because it dries faster versus pigment ink. You can set it, let that set for an hour and it's still not dry sometimes. This is in dark bark. It's just for my stash but you saw me at one point as I was inking the ink pad just like fell off. Well, I've had that happen before, but this uh, Beacon Fabri-Tac ink that I use works wonderful. Even though this ink pad is wet, you just still, you know, put ink on the bottom of the pad, kind of tuck the pad down, kind of smush it in, and then you just let it set for a while. And you saw me later on in the start to finish pick it up and I was using it again with no problem so just because the pad falls off doesn't mean you have to throw this away okay just wanted to let you know that so laid down that um, chain link frame laid down this wooden tag let me pop this down a little bit closer and actually let's go through it really quick I usually like to show you up close the project because you know sometimes it's kind of hard to see in a fast forward motion Okay. I just think it turned out really well for like a nice little rustic kind of country theme to it. All right. So I laid down this wood tag here, laid down a couple of these tags. These were great because they already kind of had that olive and brown twine in them. It was perfect. This is a, all these from my stash. This is a Seven Gypsies tag here. This one, I don't remember what it's from, but I love it because it was like, um, you know the main quote says enjoy the little things and it was kind of like you know it's your receipt date due every day enjoy the little things you know collect on that shipment so it was kind of just a play on the main uh, title of this um, you know inspiration of this project um, so I laid those tags in there in the midst of that I laid this new beautiful board piece uh, from the elements collection from Renee's shop this is called the circuit elements I love it. It's so fun. And I love all the element pieces because, you know, you can see through them. They provide great texture. You can see your project through them. And even though they're really kind of intricately cut, they're still really thick in sizes. All of Renee Bouquet's beautiful board is. Um, 
And all of Renee's board, beautiful board, has a nice coating on them so they take sprays and inks and everything really well without disintegrating like some of those other, you know, manufacturers that have, you know, just a plain raw brown chipboard to them. So these are really durable and nice. Okay, nice to create with. So I laid that down in a few places. I laid one over here. I laid this one off camera, I believe. I thought it just needed something over here. And then I laid a longer piece here. I just cut that the pieces up. They come two to a set, I believe, like five by eight size. So they're really wonderful to cut up. Okay, let's go over to this left side for a moment. This is a Prima memory hardware uh, frame. Renee has a lot of Prima resin memory hardware frames in her stash. This is the Frank Garcia line, and this one is called the Chantilly Royal. Okay, and then you saw me rub on like the raised edges. This is from my stash by Prima Marketing. It's their uh, wax. This is in white gold. I don't often use the wax. I love it, but for some reason I forget about it and I don't often uh, use it and pull it out. Um, but I use that on the raised areas here. Oh, and one more thought over here. This pocket watch is also from Renee's shop and I use that wax on that. These are in the uh, trinket section. It's called the Victorian Tarnished Silver Pocket Watch. And Renee also carries the same one in a... Uh, tarnished brass shade but I wanted to kind of tone down the shininess of the silver so this uh, wax from Prima worked wonderful uh, for toning that down and kind of giving it just that real slight slight uh, gold sheen to it. I'm not a big lover of gold but um, giving it that kind of it's almost like a oh like a light brown kind of gold when it goes on so it's really nice okay so I wanted to bring that back up because one I forgot and two I used the wax on it like I did the frame and then of course this is just a um, quote out of my stash another little ephemera piece that says enjoy the little things um, so over on this little ensemble here I have some um, trim from my stash and I just cut off some of those pieces to kind of bring in the texture of the twine and stuff that's over here and kind of give it a little bit of you know like I said texture over here added some flowers from my stash in there um, I also added some uh, Prima marketing flowers Renee has in her shop they come in a pack I'm trying to remember how many I think it's here it is 14 pieces 14 different flowers and kind of browns and creams and they also come with some like paper flower stems in it oops off camera sorry about that paper flower stems in it and it's called Ransley R-A-N-S-L-E-Y so Ransley flowers by Prima right here okay like I said Renee carries those in her shop so I added some of the the pretty browns and creams in there um, this is a petaloo flower from my stash. I added in some real pine cones from my yard in there. Added some pine cones here and some little tiny ones in here and one over here just to bring again up that rustic feeling. The clay piece I put on there is one I made from Prima. The little, um, you know, you get their molds and then the air baked clay. So it was a little lock that I uh, made kind of like these made it with the air clay okay same kind of concept just for my stash so I put that on there um, this is a little chipboard word by Prima from my stash I laid on there um, I added in just some rusty star garland from my stash got this at Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section and then of course I added in some of these flourish from Renee's shop uh, it comes in a set of 10 they're called autumn flourish Okay, and what you get is, like I said, set of 10, so you get one of these pieces, and I hope I remember this correctly, um, I think, and you get four of these pieces, which is one that I used on my project, so that makes four or five. Um, you get, let me pull this up here real quick so I get it uh, correctly, I've got it sitting here on my iPad. So one of these, four of these, you get two of these in the set, okay? You get one of these in the set, and then you get 
two of these little tiny cute things in the set and like I said these are autumn flourish a set of 10 so that's what I tucked in right in this area here okay I like that kind of just poking out there um, and then over to this side these are just three little wood hearts um, out of my stash by Prima in one of their uh, collections for one of their I can't remember which one it was I almost think it was I can't remember never mind can't tell you can't remember their wood icons in a set a little I I chose these because they kind of have a little wood grain on top so I put three little hearts there I added this is a Tim Holtz meadow arrow here because I wanted it pointing to the word thankful this is a metal word I got at Dollar Tree they come in a set of three it said thankful harvest and welcome so I pulled one out again use the uh, metal wax on it a little bit of the dark chalking just to take the shininess of the metal out um, I added another uh, Renee Bouquet beautiful board here this is uh, ivy vine they're called tuck it in ivy vine so you get a set of three of them so that's what I did, tucked it in under that board. I just wanted to bring about that leaf look because of the rustic, of course. And then this is just a little Tim Holtz um, word here I got from my stash. It's their clipping stickers. And so I pulled one out that I thought would kind of go in with the whole theme. And I put it on some chipboard and put it in there. So basically it says, enjoy the little things, you know, be thankful she whispered and under the stars is what the quote said she whispered it and softly under the stars and in just because just because enjoy the little things enjoy life so that was kind of my whole thought process for this and then i topped it all off with a beautiful beautiful renee bouquet's tiny treasure butterfly and this is in the salted caramel with the copper antenna i think it's just beautiful brings up those um, brown tones it has the beautiful glitter on it and the glass glitter on it that Renee does all of that is on there she does that for you and just brings about the beauty and the texture of the butterfly which is really pretty and then I think off camera I added just um, some of these uh, mini art stones by Prima I used uh, art basics 3d matte gel as I normally do and then I put in uh, art ingredients by Prima mini art stones and I just kind of added it around for some texture around the project okay just to again kind of bring the outdoors in a little bit so I will have everything down below to Renee Bouquet's Facebook, all the links, Facebook and the blog and Etsy and the dot com. I also have all the links down below to all my social media. So come follow me on Pinterest, come follow my blog on Instagram. Love to have you follow along. Please leave me a comment down below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please come subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you'll get notifications of any new videos I put out. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.